This video is sponsored by Repeat.gg. Repeat.gg is an esports tournament platform where gamers can earn cash and prizes while playing their favorite video games for absolutely free. Best part? Participating is quick and easy. All you gotta do is sign up, link your league account, and then just join the tournaments. The tournaments last anywhere between a few days up to multiple months. During this time, Repeat.gg monitors your in-game statistics for ranked games and assigns you a score to those matches based upon your performance. You can play an unlimited amount of games because Repeat.gg will take your best 10 matches and use them to score you in a leaderboard. The scoring format works in a way where the best performers get the most points, so doing active things like getting kills and etc. will give you more points. The prizes range from things like coins that you can use in the marketplace for RP or gift cards for Amazon, to real life hard cold cash. Another neat thing is that you can enter multiple tournaments simultaneously. BP.gg is running a league tournament with a total of 5,000 US dollars in prize money. You better join quick because you do not want to miss that. So if you want to earn money and prizes while playing the game like you usually do, use my link in the description to join BP.gg. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video. All right, we're back with some more gameplay. We're up against Irelia Top. I hope it is very apparent how to beat this matchup, but you basically have to just dodge her E. That stun basically automatically wins her fights, right? And it's quite tough to actually kill her and kite her when she has two abilities that kind of just jump on top of you, heal her, and do a solid amount of damage to you. So, number one priority is to dodge her E. Now, um, there are some things you can do to basically not die to her, right? But you ba basically mainly have to pay attention to your own minions, right? An area is going to Q to a minion that's low enough to kill with a Q instantly. So, if you look at which way your minions are in Q kill range, you can basically predict the exact route the area is going to travel with her Qs. Now, she's put the minion this low HP so she can Q to it, right? So, I'm standing next to it, so once she Qs to it, I can start with the all one. I played that badly. If you guys saw, because I did auto instead of... I mean, I canceled my auto attack with my W. But I think the point that you beat her is still prevalent. Like, if you don't cancel the auto attack like I did there, you basically just kill her and she does nothing about it. But on the bright side, we get both of her sums and we have ghost up. So that's good. I'm gonna get back to this lane. Now, while this pushing into us is a good thing, we gotta be careful because... She's going to basically have a lot of minions on her side to help her out, so... Got to basically watch out for that. She's level 2. Got to back off. I don't think he gets away from that. At least he does his best. This is a pretty good position. I really stuck on level two. So she walks into lane, I just basically ghost up to her and kill her. My destination is okay. Let's get back here actually. Seems the new needs help. We win the two, like the two v two here. Free kill. No point in me going any further because I can't, you know, reach them. I'm gonna push this wave in and then go to the river again. Like it's really bad to leave a lane pushing in like this. While well, I did get like a kill, we also lost a bunch of minions. Is he good? Should be fine, no? Okay, we gotta be real quick here. Because once they kill the noon, they're coming up after me. Nice, they leave us alone. Good. Okay, I am not gonna miss easy CS anymore, because... <laughs> that's like one too many there. That cannon dying just cringed me too hard. Alright. Let's go for Triforce, I guess. Bunch of good damage. 
Hearthbond Axe is not really a good pickup early on because you really want your health to be higher as Darius. And because health spikes earlier on in terms of resistances, right, like armor early is not as good as health early, right? So early health is really good on Darius. Stay alert. And it lets you live longer, land more cues, etc., etc., etc. You get the drill. Now, um, her ignite is on 180, so she used that and the flash basically at the same time. She has her ignite up right now, so she, if she lands the E, she basically just kills us. So we gotta be a bit careful. She's dead. Pretty easy to kill her if um, she misses her E. Now, if she's good at landing her E, or you're not confident about dodging it, you can just like, you know, not fight her when her E is up. But I'm feeling a bit confident myself. The boots also help quite a bit. Now, if you're the Irelia, if you're on the other end of this matchup, a big tip I can give you, right? And this is like one of the main things I see between bad Irelia players and good Irelia players. So, bad Irelia players will put their E down, wait, and then do it. But good Irelia players will throw their E out instantly. Like E, real quickly, right? No aiming at all. That's like, you know, the main difference between good and bad Irelia players. Because if you're the Irelia, you know that the longer it's on the screen, the larger of a chance there is for the enemy to dodge it, right? You want to surprise them. Like, here, here you go, instantly, okay? So, if you're the Aurelia in this matchup, do not hold your E. Just get it out instantly. I kind of get hit by her E here, and then basically have her fight me while I have my ultimate. Just like that. A bit of a little bait, a tiny amount of tomfoolery. Okay. This is arguably, like, not arguably, but personally my least favorite position to be in. Like, trying to push the wave in, but the minions are all under the turret, so you can't go and all attack them. Let's look at their team. Traffers is fine. Let's go for our Shin here. And then walk to lane and do a bunch of damage. Hmm. I kind of hope that Jin mid works out for us. It's not the worst thing in the world because he can kind of help us, right? So if the Nunu goes in too deep, we get the support from the Jin because of the W and the ultimate. So it's like... You know, good long-range support. But, I don't know. At least they don't have tanks. Because if they had a single tank champion, Jim will be, like, absolutely worthless. <laughs> Let's chill for a second, right? Do nothing crazy. We want to kill the Irelia again, but we don't have our ultimate. And even though we'd probably just kill her anyway, I don't want it to be too costly for us in terms of our summoner spells, so... I'm going to chill for now, and then just wait for my ult, and then force a fight, okay? So if she was here, I wouldn't be fighting right now. Okay. She's not playing super safe. So what we want to do, as a response to someone playing super safe, is basically speaking, shove a big lane into their turret, and once you do, an equally big wave is going to push into you, and you, you then want to freeze that. Now their entire top side is up here, so, try not to die. Yeah. We're getting frozen out here, but there's no other thing we can do. All right, they're off. Now I can go back in and brute force this wave into the turret. Good. Let's get the ward out. I'm going to sit here so she can't kill these ranged ones with impunity. Also, I want the turf leading. Okay. 
Nice. I actually didn't think she'd take that fight. Like, that's like an absolutely crazy fight to take for the area there. But it's fine. I guess. Stay alert. Good for us. We get gold. Turret plating. I'm going to take this wave here. Recall. Why I did that is because um, I basically want this wave to crash into a turret so that it automatically slow pushes in my direction. Make no right, we get our stats for Sterex. And then we go back into lane. Triforce is going to be a massive help. Our poke combos are going to do a ton of damage, so that's good. And I'm pretty sure we can just kill the Aurelio with the Nunu whenever he wants to dive. Now, she will be able to push this in, but can we get there in time? Nah, that sucks. The thing is, I don't have any minions, so I should be able to just pull the... <sighs> Too late. Basically speaking, because they already aggroed onto the turret, I couldn't take the aggro onto myself, right? If I got there earlier, I could basically take the aggro and drag the minions to a freezable position. We should be able to kill her pretty easily here. Alright, let's just leave here. I could probably kill her, but I don't really want to have her get kills on Luna. So we're gonna chill. Come on, you got it, bro. Hey, hey, sniper. Good shot, good shot. Rose is like can't take the turret because the Ari is here. Shaco as well. So we've got to chill. I'm gonna stay though. One more push wave and it's free plating. No way I'm gonna miss that gold opportunity. He's dead. They will regret opposing me. Now, <laughs> I don't think I can go for the turret plate here because the area will get back to lane and just kill me. Like, if I go there, she just walks right like this and then just chases me and I die. So, good to just back up. Um, I got a lot of AD damage, so I'll go for play the caps. It won't be good against the Ari, but that's just something I'll have to deal with. I doubt she'll do too much damage ever, but if she does, I can just go for like a, um, a Spear Visage or something. Now, although using my sums for her kill isn't that like important, it's important right now. Like it's worth it right now because if I kill her, I get the first blood turret and an extra turret, turret plating. Bunch of gold for free. That cannon is enough. So let's go get the turret. Actually, I don't think it's enough, but I should be able to push the wave pretty quickly here. Shotgun Ari are dead, so no one can stop me. I can take this in 10 seconds. Or less, even. Perfect. Let's pick this next next wave up and then recall. Good. We have gold for Sterex, obviously, but that turret was a big boost to our fitness. <sighs> we get bot turret too. Perfect. 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 To the. <laughs> Ugh. I make so many random references in these recordings. That's not gonna freeze. Too many allied minions. I mean, too many allied minions for her. But if I get like a good flank going, I can just kill her here because of how she positioned. No, Ari's missing though, so maybe we don't go for that. I'm gonna set up vision in this jungle and then 
If it's possible, I'll kill her. If not, no. Let's go. Walk along this bottom I wall. Have my orders. <laughs> Pay attention to how I move there. If you saw, I try my very best to not walk ahead of her like this, okay? That's a beginner mistake versus Aurelia because Aurelia can dash like to the other side of you, right? So if I move down here to cut her off, quote unquote, she can basically just dash through me. And then if she stuns me at that point, it's like, you know, she kind of gets away. Now, because of how fed I am, I'd always be able to just chase up to her and then kill her under the turret even, but like, if the area is, like, less, you know, has less deaths, you know, is kind of not so behind. Oh. Gotta get away. But if she's not so behind, then if I give her that escape route, she'd be able to live. Right? So that's a tip versus Aurelia. Always be careful with, like, how, like your movement affects, her, your position affects your movement. Like, the number one tip I can give to like, learning how to fight champions is to understand, not just what that champion does, but what that champion wants to do, right? So, Fiora, for example, wants to hit vitals. So you gotta play in a way where you don't give her free vitals, or at least you kinda like, you know, limit the amount of vitals she gets. What does Aurelia want to do? Aurelia wants to Q low HP minions, right? She can also Q targets, but she can land the E and then Q and then the resets, right? These are the things she wants to do. And now when we know what she wants to do, we're going to basically try to fight against it, right? And position our character in a way where her movement is not so valuable, okay? A lot of champions have things that they want to do. So if you just get good at basically understanding them, you should be very good at basically fighting and killing champions. And if you play like a beefy fighting champion like Darius, that's a very important skill. Hmm. I'd love to go for this fight here, but I know 100% that I'll have to pick a fight with like a, a fed Twitch, essentially. And although I can one-shot Twitch, if the Lulu's there, then it's just gonna be unfeasible for me to kill everyone. And as like a person with a 1k bounty, giving that goal to the Twitch is basically just signing the game away completely. We're going bot lane, by the way, because of this turret. It's just sticking out. And also, like, the Aurelius here because she has help, but I have help, too. Apparently not. Um, we're good, we're good. I'm waiting for a flash. Oh, the Shaco just came in, ah. <sighs> he came in at the worst possible moment for us. Yeah, that sucked. Should have kept a better eye on the map here, or then I would have seen him. Oh well. Jesus, their magic damage is actually starting to add up, so... I think it's best for us to get no Mantle right now. It's not a lot of damage, but I like it's still like a decent amount of damage that I'm cutting out. Look, it's 30%. It's gonna be what 46. So the early points of the resistances are very, very useful. Especially when it's like at a point before the enemy has time to build up their pen. How did that land? Hmm. We gotta wipe them out right now. Or at least in like the next fight or so. Because if we don't, it's not going to be possible to win this game. Are you serious? The shield! Oh, yeah. I think the game's lost. <laughs> uh... I thought I could do it quickly enough to the point where they wouldn't have time to put the shield on him. 
But they predicted that I'd go for that and then shield with a Shaco. I'm lucky. Oh, I hate Lulu so much. The game just got so much more difficult because now my lead is like severely diminished. So, hmm. We got a plate split issue then. Just silent until I get my thumbs up. Then I can try to kill them all again. Thing is, we don't really have that much more in our team than me. Why did we go rapid fight? Whatever. We don't really have that much like carry potential in our in our team other than me, right? Everyone's squishy. Everyone doesn't do too much damage. So, yeah, we gotta stop dying and just start killing more than just one person. Jungle camps for their swap. Free gold. Okay. They might try to get the blue buff. Could be a pick for us, or for them even, if we can just too hard. Okay. Our just ulted. It's not bad, it's not bad. That kills her. Never mind. Oh my god. I hate this Lulu. It's the second time she's messed me like messed me up. Mm. We have gold for DMP, so basically just have to make do without it. On the bright side, we got the bounty on the RE, so that's good. That should be a kill now. <laughs> nice. There's another kill there. They should go for it. She should just fight this out. If she fought, there's a good chance she kills the Nami. Oh, well. She does not have the spirit of a warrior within her. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Let's just go grab this wave and then a few more waves and then pick up our DMP. Um, poss possible kill here, so. Everyone died. I'm surprised why the, the box autos don't trigger the Ravenous Hydra. She would like something that it, it would proc, right? Make no mistakes. Hmm. Gotta ward this area up. How annoying. With overwhelming force. We gotta get down there. Taking the ward is a good idea, but we can't have the Nunu die. Okay, they already destroyed the ward themselves. I'll put in another one. Try to see if I can pick this kill up here. She didn't run into it. Rip. I will not rest. Oh my god. We'll take the kill. Oh, kill him. That trap is godlike. Uh, 
Ah, uh, unlucky. Oof, man. She has so much health. It's actually insane. So much health, man. Also, she's not starting to do a bunch of damage, so that's not good. At least she didn't take the dragon. Hmm. They really want Frozen Nature. Is, is it a good idea? No, it's not, is it? I don't know. Could be super useful. All right. I'll get Frozen Nature and then go for a random instance. So they can survive against the Twitch. Man, I could have got... I, I could have pented that, man. Like, I didn't realize that my Q got on the Shaco. And I thought, because he went invisible, the best instinct for him is to just walk away from me. Right? Because, like, duh. Of course he would do that. But he stood in my range. Then I got lucky because he walked into a Caitlyn trap, but still, it's like pretty crazy. Kind of want a good flank here. Why is Nunu going in? Better get in there. I got a recall. Kill this earlier too. Run, run, run. Don't think she can get away from me. I got DMP. You see the turret. Now I gotta run here. He's dead. Perfect. Let me get this too. That's half their team, basically. And I got my rank 3 ult, so I still have it. Perfect. Let's go for it. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta live, we gotta live. Oof. This is some pristine peeling there from the Nunu. Nice! Great work from the team. Great work, great work, great work. Dude, this guy, I love this guy. I love this guy. Actually, Giga Chad. Oof. Okay. Bit more, going to get my randos, which is gonna be such a good buy. This Twitch is gonna do a lot, of, a lot less damage to me. It's not even helping that much, but I don't know, I like the move speed. Also, because we killed the Ari, her um, Magi stacks are like getting cut and she does less damage. So that's good too. And we got our randoms, bam. All right, we're a massive threat right now. So that's good. Someone's coming up. The game is looking very well, very much like up for us. We're in a great position to basically carry the rest of the game. Let me just walk out of the range of this. Now she's like, because I walked out of the Baron buff range, she basically just signed her death warrant. <laughs> I just ulted her through shield bow. It's legit the best feeling in the game. Okay. Don't get hit by that. Let's just leave it, bro. Unless... I don't have flash, so it might be a bit awkward. Who crit me? Didn't fight the Twitch. Did I, I really got a crit with the shield, though. That's fun. Why that not stun? Okay. We gotta be careful here. We don't wanna let like the shotgun to basically pick off our backliners. On the twitch, on the twitch. Okay. That's good enough. Let me grab these. 
Ari's dead. Good. Cut off the Twitch. Cut, cut off the Twitch. Use this, use this to get off on the other side. Bolt. Bam. Good. Now I'm just gonna make sure the Ari doesn't kill the minions, because we can end the game. Okay. I'll just walk and, and pick it up. It, it healed? Okay. I just wanted to get the turret in here and the inheb. That was English. We need good vision here, otherwise dealing with the Shaco and stopping him from stealing it is going to be quite tough. This Nunu has kept a good lid on the dragons. Left. Perfect. We got the Chemtank, um, Chemtech Dragon Soul. There's nothing to really purchase here, so I'm just gonna go for an Elixir of Wrath. Bang. We got a flash. Let's 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 destroy this enemy team, huh? So that's ten percent damage resist and ten percent increased damage when you're below fifty percent. It does, it's not like a scaling thing. It's just like a switch that flips on. Scurry weekly. I wanted to like see how much damage I did with my DMP on my Triforce. Pretty good damage. Okay, we should be able to get a bunch of kills here, or at least the RE. Good. Okay, um... No I think we're good to just push it in at this point. Alright, they want to get the Aurelia, so I'll just back up. Even though we're, like, really strong, if they just, like, team up and then Lulu's there, I can't really kill them all by myself. Okay. I have my orders. What are they doing? Should be a free kill. Or it gets, actually puts one of them down. Oh my god, she would actually kill all three of them. She would actually kill all of them there. Fun champion. Now I know why ADCs are always mad. He, he's drifting. I don't know, we can do quite well. For our gets here at least. Okay. Good. Alright. It's fine that we don't catch the Twitch. I gotta remember that I don't actually need CS, because I'm like Full build. <laughs> right, let's see if we can catch someone. That was kind of smart from her. <laughs> anyway, it's good. Ari doesn't have her ultimate anymore. I can go for the Baron here. Gotta clear this real quick. So they don't go for some sort of cheese spell push thing. Where they push me out. Okay. I'll get back in here to flank their flank. Who's dying next? That's not enough for me! Let's kill you earlier. Good. Now let the, let the game be ended. 
actually intelligently push the wave out. She has her ult again? Oh no! Live, 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 live. This is such an annoying match to play. I can smell your fear. Where Shaco's a champion for people without jobs. I will not rest. Man, I guess they're just better at catching people than me. We've dropped 25 kills this match. What? Okay. We gotta push mid, because we're not ending the game without it. Minions. Are we ending the game? Let us end this. Oof. I dropped so many kills. I, I haven't been playing like crazy well this match, but I'm still quite happy with how it turned out. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, everybody, we're back to some more gameplay. We're up against Gwen Top. This is not really a popular champion lately. When she was nearly released, everybody played her, but nowadays she's been kind of abandoned. But we'll try to remember the techniques we learned to kill her. Now, the thing with Gwen is that the more you give her access to the minions, the more of a threat she is, like in general. So if you let her stack up her um, auto attacks, that chop chop thing or scissors thing, I don't know what it's called. Wait, I took blue buff. She kills me! What? How the fuck does she kill me? Alright, I'll probably bleep that, but I didn't expect to be killed by Gwen. I was trying to dodge her Q there. But um She had the juice to kill me. Alright. Bad news is we go kill for kill. Good news is she used both her stumps for that. So we have a flash advantage up that we can utilize. Um, all right. The wave is also pushing into us. So that's good. I'll try to start her all in with my level three. go. They really need to play it cleanly or whatever. We just have way more meat than her. Crash that baby in, and then we go back to base. Now, we need a pretty good roundup of stats to beat Gwen, because the thing with Gwen is that she is a massive, massive stat checky character. So you kind of just got to have more stats than her. So health is good. Attack speed is great. We're gonna need AD and some MR as well, but I think we should be golden from there. Luckily for us, they have a lot of CC on their team, so going for Merc Sheds isn't the worst idea ever, but I don't think I'll be going any further than Null Mantle unless we get start well, unless we start getting camped by the Zac. So yeah. Okay, we got a solid level lead. 
Because we also have a boots advantage here, I can go for another all-in and kill her, provided I start it before she starts to stack her Q. But I think I should still win. Okay, that's that gone. I didn't really care that she dodged my Q because it would just put her in range for my W. Which lets me execute her. Does Graves need help? Yes, he does! Yes, he does! Yes, he does! No, he doesn't. Um. Good. Took the Mumu kill. The Graves can take the other one. I don't think there's a fight and he really needs that many kills, so the kills went to the right champions. So that's perfect. I got a massive leech, so that is perfect. Now, recalling would be really ideal, right? I'm not even going to lie. But unfortunately, we're not really in the position to do so. So we got to hold this lane down. Don't want her to have any CS, so I'm just gonna zone things quite heavily. Right. Let's chill. Sure, we'll kill her. Pretty easy kill. I know this is basically just cruelty at this point, but we do what we must. Okay, I gotta survive this at Izzy level 6. Oh, he is! Oh! That makes things a little tough to survive. We should be good to go. Oh, he actually was here. We got away just in time. Whew. Okay, let's go for our Triforce, get a bunch of damage, and then start one-shotting people. All that stuff about the stats kind of just flies out the window when we start winning lane. So, yeah. It's gonna get the MR anyway. Just, you know, in case. Okay. Um, now, the Gwen did use her flash to my initial ghost. And given that it's 210, I all in her as soon as it came up. Um, we have 20 seconds until her flash comes up. I thought she was going to fight me during those 20 seconds, though. So, we can't get another kill. That's fine, though. Let's grab this wave, drag it into the middle. Stay alert. Should be a kill. This is not annoying. Nice. <sighs> Let's get this wave. Thank you to Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate. Hmm. It's gonna be quite tough to crash, actually, so I'm gonna uh, not fully crash it. There we go. One minion advantage and some damage on my minions. So, what's gonna happen is by the time I get back in lane. This should still be around this area, which is good for us, because we want it that way. I'm going to finish the uh, Merc Treads anyway, just to have that extra CC resistance. Now, it would be ideal to buy something with this gold, but we're going for Triforce. There's nothing to buy without price range, so we must keep the gold. Now, you could go for a Longsword and a Ruby Crystal. I do that sometimes, too, if you watch some of my older gameplays. But um, I kind of want to have my Mythic as quickly as possible, so I'm just going to, you know... Skimp all the extra bit of stats for now, and then, you know, get Triforce quickly. This seems like a lane where there'll be a lot of recalling going on. So, not a lot of time to accumulate a massive amount of gold in one back. Okay, good. Zack spot. Zed is mid. Let's chill then. The slower I play the lane, the more gold we basically, you know, drown the 
Guaynado. Not drown, but I guess strangle the Guaynado. So, that's good for us. Even though Gwen's behind, she gets like two, three kills. She just gets back in the game. She's one of them champions, so we don't want to give her that. Hmm. Can we dive her with Graves? I kind of think we can. That sucked. Oh well, let's get the turret plating. <clears throat> okay. My destination is clear. <laughs> what? She disappeared. That was annoying. Man, Graze is not coming for this dive. It's so annoying. Whatever. I have my order. You can just take the turret easily, which is like the annoying part. But whatever. I do kind of want to recall now, though. I get Triforce. Zed is level 9? I've literally killed this Gwen like six times. How is the Zed out leveling me? Oh well. We got Triforce, which is a big plus. We start one-shotting. Now, if I'm gonna go for short reasons against the Gwen, I gotta do WQ instead of all WQ if I hook her for like the poke. That was stupid. Rest in peace. Anyway, um, if I'm going to hook poker, it's gonna be hook WQ instead of hook our WQ. Cause she has her dash to get away from things. Also, this is a free freeze. We take those. <clears throat> we take those. Right. Let's gonna keep it around here. With overwhelming force. For as long as I possibly can. What's Pauline doing? Good. The only problem is the Z, basically. So I'll try to be careful with him. Also, the freeze didn't quite work out that well. We killed things too quickly. Should have go for a quick poke combo. Good. So that's coming up here. <sighs> this only just got a bit harder to play. Yahoo. He doesn't actually have too much lethality, so he doesn't really explode us. So that's something to. I guess be optimistic about. I kind of want to poke the Gwen down under turret, so I'm going to keep pushing and being aggressive. My WQ does like 30-40% of her health. And I have enough points in E to the point where like the mana cost isn't too punishing. Okay. I didn't do it properly, but we still got a bunch of damage off. I want to actually kill her that time. Because if the Q lands, I just straight up old kill her. Alright. <sighs> okay. Graze wants to come up here. Oh, he's just summoning Herald from all the way. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Yeah, we're dead. Uh, their entire top side came here, which sucks. This head got my massive bounty, which is what we're kind of afraid of, since he's the only problem. Man. We gotta keep an even bigger eye out on the map, because the Zed roving up here constantly. This is a little risky. <laughs> it's always entertaining to see Graves with like he has he has like twice my armor almost. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I have no armor on this, but it's still pretty nutty. All right, let's get up here. I should probably take this turret down with like auto W basically. So let's use some of that old Darius brute force. Once Flash is up, I'll try to spare it for the Zed and put him down. Okay, let's put that on there. Okay, we just Sigma mailed it right there. He has actually no lethality, so his damage against me is like greatly diminished. Which is a big help. There's a reason why Aatrox goes Eclipse instead of Ravenous Hydra nowadays. Not Ravenous Hydra. Um, Gordrick nowadays. With lethality, you do so much more damage that you just heal more than like Gordrinker with its you know, extra healing active. Pretty great, great. Hmm. This is kind of stupid for me to walk up, so I'm going to recall and then get my Sterax. We should be um, getting it in like 10 seconds of waiting. Oh, Gwen killed the Twist of Fate? Let's peek this out. Alright, this game is kind of slowly fleeting out of our hands, which is not good. I'd love to go top, but I kind of want to go balding so that I can be there for this dragon once they're fighting for it. If I walk through the f for this wave, then we definitely lose a dragon because I literally physically can't go there by the time it spawns. And the thing is, when you want to contest objectives, you don't want to be there just as it spawns. You want to be there Preferably 10 or so seconds before it spawns to set it up. You set the vision, clear things out, maybe scare the enemy stragglers away from it so you get the, you know, so you secure the river. Now, we're not doing any of that, which is fun. So, it's, I guess we're just giving it. Yeah, we're just giving it, I guess. No one wants to fight for it. Rip. I was going to talk about how, um, when you want to go for objectives, like, this river position is way better to fight out of. Because look, these chokes, right, are small, which means that AOE abilities and stuff can really destroy teams if they're forced to funnel through here, right? Whereas with the river, they got much more room to move around and, uh, you know, um, maneuver, let's say. Okay. Get that. Good. I don't know if we want to go for this because their whole team is off the map. Okay, they're kind of caught up there. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> good, good, good. I didn't do much in that fight. Just wanted to accompany the Herald and contest. Oh! 
Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Let me do this. I wanted to wait until all the Zack Bloms lined up for a perfect cue. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I basically just stood there for style points, I admit it. But we did wipe them all out, so that worked out. Yeah, I kind of wasn't on point with my flash there because I didn't know exactly where she was. That's the power of vision, by the way. But we survived, we avoided things, and we killed them all. Kill them all. Um, let's see what we need here. I'd say with Death Dance, we should be pretty, like, unkillable. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the Chambers first, though. Just to have something. Because that just got Cleaver and Lethality, so... He's gonna start popping us like a balloon. Okay, um, let's just walk right in, get the wave. And then move to the Baron. Yeah. Kinda don't want this turret to be taken too easily, but I should be moving towards the Baron anyway. Good. Let's see now. I'm gonna slowly start moving towards there. I will not rest. Let's see what's up. I'm just hovering around because I want the bot farm, but in case something happens out here, I can just be in range to walk in and help out, you know? That's what I'm basically doing by hovering here. Okay. Let's get in here. Not the best idea to reveal our intentions, is it? Stun someone. Alright. Good job. Not the Dunk Time Express I was looking for, but kill's a kill. Let's get this Nash. Bro, bro. Bro, <laughs> we need your smite. Um, please just kill her. He's dead. All right, I guess I just got solo the Baron at this point. Yeah, Gray is completely griefed it. With his smite, he will be alive. TF would likely be alive. That was a little greedy, buddy. Okay. <laughs> you completely just, like, bodied him right there. He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. ka -ching. All right, um... What's good here? I kind of want more move speed, so let's go for a DMP, Force of Nature, and I think we should be able to end the game by the time I even finish DMP, but still. Like, there's other items I'm planning on. <clears throat> let's see if we can grab this free kill. Never mind. I love new champions. Quanti F, get her. Carve up path. I'd ghost for that, but she was not worth my ghost. But on the bright side, they got a kill mid, which we can use to basically get the inhib and even end the game because they really can't match our fighting power. What's happening here? How that nade it? Oh, no. They get him anyway. Because we're third in the game, Zed has to recall. Uh, 
Well, that wasn't the most exciting game. Honestly, I didn't even play that mechanically well this match, but I didn't need to. We just won. Because of a bunch of well-picked fights. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back. So we're game we're up against Mordekaiser Top. Now, Mordekaiser Top is usually a skilled matchup. But if the Mordekaiser knows how to play it, then the matchup becomes a little boring. But we did get a ton of CS, so it's not too much of a problem. Now, this guy is running Predator Mordekaiser. Top laners, am I right? But jokes aside, um, I'm not too sure how this one's going to go. Because theoretically, I destroy him in all-ins. Because he has no Conquer. But then again, right? I don't think he's going to be playing the lane properly. That Moose Bee is going to be a bit tricky to deal with initially. But we're doing well so far. He is running an additional Ghost to Cheese Me. So there's that. In my honest opinion, the lack of Conquer is going to be a real big hit. You know, like, you never know, like, the value of Conquer until you take another Keystone. Because Conquer is such a massive, like, deal in all ins. Mm. Because of that sick flash predict, I kind of had to go for that auto attack to finish him off there. I knew it was insane, but, you know, the Darius gods called on me to kill him right there, and I could not refuse. Now, that is a completely insane thing to do. Do these get first blood? No, dude, someone else got it. Okay, oh well. Happens, I guess. We lose two-ish waves from that, which sucks. He definitely has a CS lead. But on the bright-ish side, this should fall under the turret, so he's going to be pushed up, which kind of leaves him in room to be Gankaroo need. Never mind, he just dragged it all. Hmm. I'm going for the Wukong here. The Wukong, like, by going for that trap thing... Like, that, 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 that trick that Wukong players go for where they just stand still, he essentially just put himself in a position where the Hecarim could just solo run him down. So, that worked in our favor. Okay. Not the worst fight ever. We took basically all of his health from a level down. He didn't buy anything? Okay, that's... This guy's really weird. I don't know if fan of irregular things. Unpredictable things. Alright, this is pushing into us. Which leaves it in quite a decent spot. He does have a level lead, which makes things a bit awkward. Let's just go to the minions. If I contest these and he lands like an EQ on me, I just die. Let's thin out a bit. I should not have tanked that. <laughs> that is why you take Conquer. <laughs> like his all inning power is just completely blasted out of this universe. I didn't even pray properly because what I should be doing there is like auto E auto. That would just kill him before he could even W shield. But didn't matter. Auto W just completely destroyed him. Okay. I don't really have any problem going for just straight Triforce here. Just one shotting him. He's not going to be in any position to, like, all in me for the majority of this match, which basically lets us, um, 
Okay, let's mute this ping. Which lets us basically go for Triforce damage and just focus on killing. What? 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 I thought he'd at least wait for level 6 to do that. But, um... Afraid not, apparently. Let's be careful. If Wukong catches me under turret with his ult, I should be... Not dead, but pretty close to dead. Seriously, minions. I hope this is a cautionary tale to everybody looking to try domination on Juggernauts. Because it is not good. Okay, Mortis roaming again. I'm just gonna spam ping. Why is their entire team missing? Oh, there they are. Right. Mordekaiser just went bot lane. I need ult at the S. Oh, that's nasty. I'm gonna try my best to get this turn as quickly as possible. For the team. Quite a relaxing game. We're out here playing Farmville, apparently. Nothing to really commentate on. here so we should be a little careful good they kill the Kiana there I'm gonna intercept never mind I don't have mana for my ultimate they have ultimate mana. All right, let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Because I do not have mana to kill anyone. Bro, okay, I can't help you. I cannot help you. Good luck. At least he has double buff. No, he doesn't have. Okay. Um, boots, 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 what's good here, what's good here, what's good here, um... Tough situation. A lot of AD though. Let's go for the toppies. For now. I'm gonna pick up a no mantle next pack, and then build Toys and Sterox, and then build a no mantle into a Force of Nature third item. <coughs> Unless they can't get super fed. Then I'll just upgrade that to the 900 gold MR item, and then, um... Go for a either a DMP or a dead man's plate. I mean, it's the same thing. DMP or a death stance. Sucks that they got the um, herald, but kind of have no choice. Nice, good kill, good kill. You only need that. I'm gonna push up here, get a bunch of pressure out. Oh, he dies. Rip. Oh well, this goes one for one. 
Okay. Um. Bro, Mordecai is just permanently Pauline, isn't he? Oh, they killed both of them. I want to try to push this as much as I can, but I don't think I can outdo whatever they're doing bot lane. That's more that's Wukong ult gone. That was not a good choice, was it? <sighs> that's pretty nice, pretty spicy. Um, this might be so greedy, but because the count is also dead, I want to kind of just go for it. All right, just, just, I'm just going to run out. Let's go around. At this point, any second that I stay here is another second that I'm inviting this full move speed to roll Mordecai to just run at me. Oh, he get he gets him. He kills the Yon here. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, he can't. <laughs> This is such a messed up match. All right, um, gonna go to the dragon here. Here quickly. Hecarim gets this, but oh, they don't. They don't contest. Good. Gonna push for this turret because it's about to die. It's like prime target for a bunch of platings, let's say. Unless they're all here. Oh. I got stunned? Come here, Kitten, come here, Kitten. That's not a good use of the revive. They actually destroyed them all. They lost three kills just for that one Yumi. And Mordecai's just so weak that he doesn't beat the Hecarim and the ultimate yet. He doesn't have the stats to do that. This one is turning into our favor. But I don't get my plates, so now I'm mad. Yon gets that turret though, so that's good. <clears throat> okay. Just calmly collecting this turret gold. I thought she dashed to that. Uh, I hate the grass thing that Kiana can do. No one champion should have that much invisibility. Alright, let's leave because the Renata is on our way. And I can't really brute force this without getting stunned at her turret. Kinda don't want to go on him. This is better too. Now if they got me, the Hecarim and Yumi can just run in and intercept. Ah. Uh, a bit too late. How that? Okay. I guess it still works out. Um, he doesn't have Divine Thunder, so he can't actually kill all of them. <laughs> I love how the Mordekaiser guys are just barely <laughs> killed the Hecarim. Oh my god, he's getting Proto Belt! He's just not, he's just put, like, purely going into this cheese play style. Not gonna lie, I respect the commitment, but I still think it is completely insane. Okay, I have to basically respect their um, map mobility more, because I'm not really doing it as much. I think the best way to go by winning this game is to just 
play with the team and fight. Because fundamentally, we're all way stronger than them. So if we can fight with me when I have my sums, I should be able to just wipe the floor with the enemy team. Ah, uh, that red buff make, made him unkillable. We'll have to slow I walk up and uh, hook him. Pick him up. And ka-chunk. Dump. Let's go to Sterex and then... I, I, I'd say go for DMP. Because I want the move speed more than I want Death Dance. Alright, let's go for the turret then. Young can hold this. He's doing quite well. Bunch of gold, a bunch of farm. And I'm our resident turret taker. With Starx, we should be taking turrets quite quickly. For those of you who don't know, the base AD that you get from Triforce goes back into um, Starx. So you get even more AD. Hello, bro. Tis but a scratch. Hmm. Tis but an entire team. Uh, I just said I should respect their map mobility and I walk into that. We straight up are just group. We just have to group. Literally all we have to do. Because if we group, we just kill them every single fight. We got Yumi, Hecker, Yon, and Darius. Honestly, if we just have the Hecarim, me, and then maybe the Ezreal, we can 4v5 their entire team. Alright. You know, split pushing. This is a really stupid game to slow it in. Bro. I think the, the Mort has done that, like, multiple times so far. Vars is getting fed, so he's like our target number one at the moment. Sure. Go for it. Okay, let's clean this one up. Wow. At least you have to flash for that. Flash gone. Let's just try to do the Baron and then quickly recall. guy go 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 nice all right hecker actually bodied them all right i'm gonna recall i'm gonna recall keep one baron at least he should be able to escape escape come on actually no death stance is a way better option for now but let's get dmp for now just to be safe uh, the Yumi dies and the Wukong and the Hecarim. Not good. Okay. Let's try, I suppose. Now, can I cheese kill this Wukong? Probably not. But we can try. Oh, 
Okay. Ezreal actually helped out. That worked out magnificently for us. All right, let's, let's, let's get out. I, I'm too late to be, but that's pretty good. Oh my god, he's popping off. Whoa. He killed the Inting Mordekaiser. What a pop -up. I mean, Jax is like, great work from him. <laughs> All right. Um, we should really just run them down with a Hecarim ultimate now. I don't see them standing in our way. Got a Baron buff at our heels as well. Perfect. Actually, no, they'll respawn, so I guess we'll give the team enough time to reset. Okay. Bro, bro, bro. Okay. We're not really in a good position to kill them all. Kill them all. Now, I'd try to one combo her there, but she just W's herself, and then I get caught by the virus and die. There's another alternative, more secure kill, though. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I mean, I don't mind the Mordekaiser running at me. If he wants to ult me, he is welcome to do so. I just took the Q3 from him. Oh my god, I'm, I'm kind of trolling. Come here, boy. Shoot. Minions mid, let's just go for that one. Okay. Let's go with the mid turret here. Aries are doing some chores, like taking the dragon. Respect. I think we got the moose speed to take that to us. Two. Didn't need the help, but we appreciate it. I took control four there. <laughs> Just for the VM. Okay. Um I think I'll skimp out on the magic resist. And go for Shojin. I wouldn't really recommend this completely, but we are basically just absolutely curb stomping them, so might as well just go for like a like a really aggressive option. It's gonna let us completely light them all up. Because they don't even do enough damage to put me down, I th I thought the death dance was a little unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, we were wrong, but my sums are up, so well one of my sums are up, but my flash is up, so we should be able to get a lot of work done. Do not die. Okay, we gotta get in here. <sighs> Time for Papa Roku to carry. Another kill in my name. Face me. Bro, bro. See how easy that was? Okay, um... I guess we just end the game here. <laughs> no real obstacles. <laughs> They're gonna swim. Maybe we only get one turret, though. No. We win. Alright, that was a pretty funny match, in my opinion. But, l don't get me wrong, the Mordekaiser just inted, that's why we won, but... A lot of good Duncan. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> okay, we're back against Irelia again. 
So let's just get right into it. Shield attack the minion, so she started Q. Got her plating. Oh, that sucks. Because when she Qs into minions, I think you basically want to instantly all in her and go for a kill. As a flash, I'll take it. <coughs> we take those. Let's take it as well. Good. Okay. <laughs> I played that so terribly. Because I thought she'd, like... Basically, I thought she would, like, Q on me. And I basically, I flashed in a way where she would Q, she'd get hit by it. But, I forgot to count them properly. Oh well. We got our Ignite on Thirst, that's pretty good. Let's recall and get some meat. Boots. Some AD. All that good stuff. I think this is a match where a move speed build will be quite good. Like looking at their team, it's like gonna be quite a pain trying to perform. They got point and click CC, and they got Silence, and also Callista is like not really the easiest champion to catch. So move speed is gonna be our bread and butter. Thinking of like um, Stridebreaker, then Sterak slash DD into Dead Man's Play Force of Nature. Quite a common build nowadays, isn't it? I don't want to walk up here. Um, there's a good chance that the elven is around here, and with their previously, men previously mentioned point and click CC, it would be a guaranteed gank for them. Oh, she's down there. Okay. She's like putting the slow into slow pushing. At, like, once she let me get all that damage on her, without even getting her E out, it really didn't matter what she did. <laughs> like, she basically was just dead the second I got, like, all that damage off. I mean, obviously, but, you know. She lands her E. She doesn't win. What? That's because she wasn't paying attention. And we killed her before she even realized it. Okay. Good. Um, uh, I kind of want to go for a pickaxe, like the devil in my ears, let me go for the pickaxe, but I'd rather a bit, be a bit more safe and just round out all my stats first, and then go for the fun items. Our ghost is going to be up, so if we go for a fight, as soon as it comes up, we should be able to kill her. Keep in mind, she ignited when we flash fought her, okay? So her ignite, this is how I used to basically know... Like, keep easy track of enemy sums. 180 seconds, same time as her flash. So when this hits um, 120, she has her ignite back up. It's already hit it, so her ignite is available. Wish it was 210, but this is what it is. This war is just beginning. Should be a pretty easy kill if she walks up. But, you know, <laughs> emphasis on the if. All right, she's mid, so we got to push this out. Everyone was there. She's level five still. So, I don't mind doing a bit of tomfoolery. Never mind, she got back in lane before I could. Let's leave. What I wanted to do was like get the minions and then walk her entrance into the um, lane. That's one, of the, that's one of the most like powerful things you can do as a top leader. Stop them from getting access to XP. That like exasperates leads by like a massive amount. 
but it wasn't doable here. Gotta be careful, because Evelyn, I think, has done the camps already. Has gone level 6. Should be, like, a roughly, like, a tiny bit behind the cane. Alright, sleep, sleep, sleep. I saw her, bro. Like, <laughs> I saw her. <laughs> bro, get away, the car was there. Now she's gone. Her flash should be up around now, too. Hmm. It just sucks that we couldn't kill her. She got minions. The reason I mainly took that fight was um, because of her mana. She actually didn't have mana for a lot of abilities. Like she uses her E there, she actually she actually is Oom for like her Q. So I can basically just turn my brain off, run on her and kill her. Got the ignite. Bam, bam, good. <sighs> Icebreak Whip is such a life hack item. Because the thing is, Darius's wave clear is okay, but it's not like that great earlier on. Like, you don't kill minions like too quickly. Because your Q never like is enough. Like, one Q is never enough. So, with Iron Spike Whip, you can basically kill the whole wave with one Q and some auto attacks on the melee minions. She instantly pushed that, so. Um, we're looking at a nice, juicy freeze. Let's get a word out. Nice. Conflict lies beyond the throne. Don't have enough of a moose advantage. I messed that up. I messed it up. If I if I if I did my W, I would have killed her. Uh, I tried to outplay it, but it's just undoable. Rip. I did have my ultimate, so. I was basically just doomed to die there. Nothing I could have done to live. Oh well, at least we got a strike breaker and we didn't waste our flash there trying to live. We definitely need like a control ward though. This, I usually don't buy a lot of wards, but <laughs> it's like one of those matches where you gotta get it, right? It should be a free kill. Bruh. 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 All right, I guess we're just gonna leave her. I actually don't mind that too much. She has no mana. We clear this quickly and get some plates. Nice, she's actually staying in lane. Let's kill her. Should be an easy dunk. Flash out. Let's crank. Glorious. I swear, like, the Champions League pick for like the victorious skin is like completely random. Can't catch me, bro. I'm gonna jump over here if they keep fighting. <laughs> I killed that with Strybreaker, which makes the kill all that much more juicy and satisfying. Now let's get our Merc Treads, we have to. And for the lane, I'm gonna go for a. It's, it's, 
I wanted to go for a Warden's Mail for the Aurelia, but it's really not good here. So I'm just going to go for the um, Chain Vest and then build into the Dead Man's Blade. Get out of there. Most of them. She's got to use her stun because I just catch up here. You made your choice. Yeah, the second she, she saw me, she should have instantly eat. With upgraded boots and strike breaker, I have like way more move speed than her. Yeah. Let's just go for the turret completely. Good. Okay, let's get it. Wave two real quick. <laughs> I won't submit to the mandates of tyrants. I must leave. <sighs> There's better still be kings to kill when I come back. I doubt that freezes. I reject the delusion of control. Mm, it could actually. Let's get down here and stomp this. Or not. No need, because the Evelyn got the dragon. <sighs> Let's try to target this mid turret here. Portals. We should definitely go for it. He gets it on his own. Good. I'll just go top then. Or I could jump over here and see if I can pick her up. To the king I'm tilted. I'm upset. Yeah, I think we catch her here pretty easily. All life will be reforged in violence. <sighs> What a waste of time. At least we get the XP. Got DMP. Next pack. Perfect. I think DMP is more worth it than whatever I get from this these minions. Like that move speed is so crucial right now to me. So I'm gonna get it like straight away. Now for for some nature. Okay. These are portals to get around the map quickly. We should really kill them all here. These two and the Evelyn. Ah, I should've just kept running. I thought my Q landed. I thought my Q landed. I should've just kept running. Ah. Come on, Nullis. Come on, Matterbone. That lands? That's illegal. Hmm. Do we still want to go for our Force of Nature? Because Heaven's quite massive. Hmm. I might be... Willing to go for Styrax for, for some like for some desperately needed anti burst. Does he kill her? 
How do they miss a hook on a, like a stationary target? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just run through Yasuo here. If the chase is long enough, we should be able to get a bunch of free kills. Let me jump over. This should be like, uh-oh, I heard a portal. Wonder who that is. May. Guess there no. War is coming. Oh my God! The Evelyn one tapped me. Jesus. This is so bad. Evelyn, like. We have no choice. We gotta go for first nature ASAP. The more anti magic damage, the better. It's just straight up. Thing is, it should stack up the item quite quickly. Oh, he's dead. He is so dead here. Rest in peace, brother. Rip, rip. Okay, I can't die again. The rule of thumb is if I die twice in a row, I'm no longer fed. I guess my rule of thumb. Like, personally how I see it. How it is from experience, etc. Freedom, anarchy. Call it what you will. Hmm. Maul might not be the craziest buy here. If you think about it. We'll go for Force of Nature and see if it's enough. If not, then Maul might be on the shovel. Also, I can't walk up there. We have no vision of the Blitzcrank, which means that we're easy prey for him. A thousand more years of yeah, we obviously lose it. Trying to see if someone wants the turret. Okay, we're going for the Herald, which is quite risky. Okay, Evelyn has no R. That's good, that's good. I can pop off here. Good. Let's kill the boss too. Share the moose speed here. I smell fear. Oh, he's fast. Oh well. I don't know if we kill the turret fast, if I'm being honest. I'm not sure to just take this turret down. It's more guaranteed. Gold. Bring it all, down. all right, yeah, let's not do this. Bro, okay, he's dead. Let's just leave him. Shut down. It might be a fight that I could, I guess, crush, but given the fact that I don't have my ultimate, it'll just be like a me dying scenario. Let's get up there. You should try to catch her. Bro, come on. You know the magic I can do with that ultimate? Reset.
We get a bunch of kills, but Baron's still not done. Also, the Evelyn is like on the loose. So we have to be quite careful now. Yeah. I'll just stick near here. When you're up against Evelyn, it's good to be near someone that can do CC. I have no doubt in my mind that if she has all of her abilities, like her ultimate, she kills me from full HP. Not full HP, but for however much HP I had at the time. Okay, what's a good item here? I think that stance will be quite good. If I get killed while trying to build that stance, I'll just go for Asterix. To have even more burst resistance. Man, this Callista being behind makes this game, like, unbelievably easier. Like, the game is so much easier just because this Callista is, like, hinting. Perfect. Nope. Okay, let's try to... Catch her, if we can. Okay. Her ult's gone, which makes things easier for us. I'll have to do some good zoning, though. Also, she needs to lifesteal. Good. That lands, no. That lands, nope. It's gonna go push him about. Let's just kill these two here, real quick. Don't think I need the ghost. Okay, let's chase her down. Good. We get the dragon too. I also can keep the boy pushed. We'll do the dragon. Evelyn's tall. She's not as tall as Good. He didn't actually push the wave, which is annoying. Oh well, we'll do it. Need level 16 anyway. Pretty dominant match, I'd say. I don't have ult, I don't have ult, I don't have ult. I have to get in there to save him. Oh no. Yeah, if I don't pull the Evelyn there, he just straight up dies. So, um, all in a day's work, pal. Okay. Let's just run there. We should be able to end the game right now, straight up. Which is something we're not going for. Hmm. I guess because we have Victor enough there, it's basically like not as advantage the situation as it seems like. I have my rank three R, which is a big, big help. Where will I put all these heads? I guess near my gravestone. <sighs> oh well, that's the game. That's game. I thought the Evil was gonna be able to kill like more than just the Asu. So it should be over. Can they hit the turret? What are they doing, man? And the Perfect. All right. -o. That's pretty much it for this recording. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. 
All right, we're back. So, our gameplay, we're up against Urgot the top. The team has got quite an annoying team comp for us to deal with. Not a lot of CC, but the ones that they, they do have is quite annoying, right? Difficult to avoid. I think Moose is going to be quite good against them. Not a Triforce game at all. I'm thinking like a Stridebreaker build with Moose Speed. But we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna explain why I went with that right now, but basically speaking, when he used his flip on the minions, I could just guarantee that he only gets one shotgun in the Omni, which is like a free kill. Pretty effortless kill. We must escape this I think gone as well. Trinim is probably on his way here, which makes it <sighs> annoying. I get away, but at what cost? <sighs> Whatever. We lose an entire minion wave there, which I think actually puts us behind. Actually, no. He he's he's probably gonna have level three before I do, but I'm only one minion away from level three, so it's not the worst thing in the world. A wolf knows the scent of fear. And now Elise is top side. It's quite possibly. Oh yeah, he's actually ahead in XP. This is one of the most annoying matches I've played. But it's only three minutes in, so let's just see how it goes. Best I can do here is just stay in range for the minions. If I walk up to farm and the Elise shows up, then I have to blow my flash, which I do not want to do. It's level four. Oh. Alright, let's slow this down. There she is. At least Mord's getting something done. Gotta be careful here. I gotta clear the wave and make sure that there's like none crashing because they could be diving me. At least it's still here. Nice. Thanks to his greed and flash advantage, we get another kill. Good. Thing is, I thought he'd just complete the recall, and I was actually thinking about flash hooking him to engage here. But there is a world where he just runs away, right? Like he dashes away and slows me down so I can't catch up to him. But he didn't. He actually accepted the fight. And like, there was no way he was going to win it. Because even though he's got like a level lead, I have boots and um, cloth armor, so he can't get a lot of shotguns on me, right? And the armor just makes him do less damage, so... Um, it was just an easy fight to win in general. Now, we have to be careful because he has Ignite, so... We either fight him right this instant, or we chill. I'm kind of keen on fighting him right now. Because he just hit level 5 when we killed him. 
We'll also have level six here. No need to waste our ultimate. Right, let's recall, get more of these components. I can't get both of them, which sucks, but I think oh, I'll get the Kindle Gem for the CDR, or rather the Ability Haste. <laughs> He's dead. Rip. Mordekaiser is doing fine as well, though, so that's good. He's got two kills already. I'm going there. Okay, the Orgot should have his flash up. Like, basically in, like, a third of a minute or so. Was meant to destroy gods, man, nice. Doesn't even crash properly for him. Got a ping in missing. You don't know how it is. We'll have to get anti heal at some point this game. Your loyalty. Also, we'll have to start not missing CS. Okay. Good. Find Let's ward up. Gotta be careful because I can't 2v1 OE center we got. They have too much CC. Get down here into the river. Show some presence. Alright, good. At least it's down there so we can walk up. Be free to fight. Be free to kill. Can get that last auto attack. Decent trade, but it's not worth it for the amount of mana we put into it. Let's try to go for a perma freeze. This guy's playing too defensively. I'm just gonna let it push in, and unless the mortar wants to go for it, like a dive, I'll just keep it like run my turret. Okay. I'll cut that Ned from, ne head from your neck. I'll cut that Ned. <laughs> okay. Once goes to up, this should be killable. The world will Bad cube. I'd kill him right here, but the thing is, right, unless the Elise is going for Drake, this could be, like, enough for her to... Okay. There's a world where she just doesn't do Dragon and just Psycho runs up here to kill me, which is what I've been what I was trying to avoid. I knew he'd go for that, so I just baited it and killed him. We are all wolves. Okay. Bang. Pretty good. We get a kill, both summoner spells, and we have a bunch of gold. Shardbreaker already. This is also going to push into us, and once we, like... If I if I get the Strybreaker slow on him, he's just dead. Simply because of how long the slow is. <laughs> so even if he flips away, or like, you know, slows me, I'll be able to just catch up to him and hook him and kill him. Oh. Good, he gets one kill. Sparkle Flash. 
You should just go for the Nyla. Jeez. This guy's popping off. Nice. That was perfectly done. Great work. Now, we can just basically flash on the Urgot and kill him. But the main issue comes in that, like, this guy won't give me a lot of gold for my flash, basically. So I gotta basically, like, find ways to kill him that doesn't require me blowing my summoner spell. Should have W'd him before he dashed, then I could actually catch up. Played in gold. Good. I also wanted to kill him, but I don't know where the Elias is. Plus, Trinomir just went off the mid, so he could be roaming. The wolves are yeah, he's actually coming up here. Door. We could just dive him if the Mord wants. Bro. <sighs> Whatever. Is that so hard? I'm gonna kill. And terror platings. As long as they zone people from coming top, I don't really need the herald to do the turret. I am being a little bit careful about how I use my mana though, because if someone fights me right now, I won't have the, like, I won't have enough mana for like a nice, full, comfortable fight. With the turret gone though, I am not need to stay in lane. So we can recall. He went, what? Is he going Ravenous Hydra? Okay. A little troll from him, but it is where it is. Okay, um, what boots are we going for? Let me think, let me think. She's AD. Tabby's is good. And I also want more meat on me. So, since we're kind of fed, I'm going to go for a Sterax. Actually, no. Let's go for a Death Stance and then DMP. That's like the better route. Right? I don't want to go Sterax this game because I'm going to go for a... Whoa. Okay. I'm going to go for a Moose Speed build. So what I'm going to do is go for um, Death Stance. And then Dead Man's Play. And this build is like the ultimate move around the map, get to every fight, and then kill everyone type build. Went a bit like a rap god in there, but you guys get the idea. Let's get the other one too. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for that. Because <laughs> the Elise is here. Doing so would be crazy. <sighs> Back off. Let's get these minions. I think that should be enough for Death Stance, this and the next wave. Good. Good. Okay, let's get our death stance and then we go for our DMP. Now, because I'm so ahead, I can just like burst through any healing that they got. But if the Soraka does become a problem, I will go for the, ch the Kenbunk Chainsword at some point. Just not now. Don't need it. So, yeah, DMP, Kenbunk Chainsword, or. Even like a Sterak 2 or 2. Then, like, I'm confident about us ending the game by then. So I don't really have any plan for, like, what I'll build after DMP even. Like, we're just so far ahead. 
go, could, could go for like a spear at some point, but that's only like if I'm super rich and just killing everyone. They should be careful. Though the Urgot's not going to be able to like do much himself, his ult is going to make it real easy for like the Yelis or someone to kill. Whoever gets hit by that ult. Uh, I'd love to go down there. Get that turret, but you got to match the Trindamir. Just how it is. Let's get our armor. And run down there. I thought the Zed was going to take the side lane, right? But it's all good. I just hope someone, you know, actually farms top so it doesn't go to waste. On also the bright side, we get um, the bottom turret here. I got to get here so he doesn't get he doesn't get the rebuff. Got a zone it for him. Oh, he left. Good. Guys, do you do, do you have eyes? I don't think there's should fight there because the, the squishies are like not really in any position to continue. That was some juke <laughs> from the Zed. Let's get that turret here. Oh my god, they all died. I guess I should have pinged them back. But I just thought it was like, like a mutually understood thing that yeah we're not fighting there. Apparently not. Let's see if I can cancel this spin. I missed the hook. Oh, I right, gotta leave. If I land that hook, I Q auto and just kill him with the old. Or maybe he's, his healing is enough, I don't know. Ooh, here comes the chase. Okay, they're off me. The king by my that DMP is going to be really useful, that's all I'm saying. Nope. Try elsewhere. Okay, I got money for the completed chain vest and the winged moon plate. Winged moon plate is like such an unimpressive item. I know, I know it gets like move speed, but like usually the unique components like this are like pretty decent, right? Like the one that goes into Zonia's so secret arm guard, but winged moon plate is like pretty unique in how terrible it is. Wish they kind of buffed it a bit, so it's like something that like, oh, I got Moon Moon Plate, I'm good, but. Mm. We must escape this More should be able to win that easy. Okay, who am I up against? As long as Elise isn't involved, I can kill everyone, but like the bane of my existence is just crowd control. Okay. Let's try to get in here. Just, okay, they're not chasing. I'll keep pushing. There's the Nyla. There's the Elise. I think we're fine. Let's try to get out of here, though. They've clumped all around here, so we want to be really careful with where we got caught, or we get caught. Okay. They're just giving it to us. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna go get um, the Krugs and then recall, get my DMP and run back in. I reject the delusion. I think I'm going to the dragon, but the Trinimir is still pushing top, so I might have to go and respond to him. Don't. I don't like that stance. All right, screw this. I, I don't have time to wait. I don't really care about the ATHB nearly that much. So, yeah. Let's run in here, help out. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna run in. I can kind of like my spidey senses are tingling. A fight's gonna happen, so better get here quick. It's one kill. Let's do the dragon. I'll hook him up. Hmm. If the least walks up, I'll try to zone her. I really wanted a dunk, because we're in Gawking especially, but, you know, it's fine. Did we get any healing? No, <laughs> we're full HP, so it didn't heal us at all. Okay, they're pushing mid, I'll push here. They can get an inhib, I'll get the turret. Why settle? You know what I'm saying? They can go for more. Let's go there. Pretty good. Nothing they build can keep me out. Go for these bad boys. We take it. Get the other inhib. All right. I'm gonna recall. Actually, we could just end the game here. So I'm gonna kill everyone. That was the worst I've played in my life. But the game is over. Man, I can't believe I ulted the wrong one. Whatever. We end the game anywhere. Like, the thing is, I could just go back and match the trend, but we literally just end the game if we kill them, and we did. All that early game playing for not a dunk time one, but we, we win the game anyway for easy. For no effort. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back. So for gameplay, we're up against Kale Top. Kale Top is... It's typically a matchup that Darius can handle. But there are some things that you gotta be careful of. Number one, her level one is quite powerful because of lethal tempo. She can cheese kill you. Number two, you gotta be very careful how you play around her ultimate. You don't wanna waste your own ultimate on her ultimate. And number three, um, you kinda wanna get a bunch of kills on her because she does scale crazy well. She's one of those champions that can solo hyper carry a game on her own, and you don't wanna basically facilitate that by a, a, a tiny dash of int. So yeah, let's just get right into the match. Now, she does have her ranged auto attack. So I kinda wanna force her to use it on the minion, right? She has the choice to use it on me or the minion. Now that there are no minions for her to hit with a ranged auto attack, I chillax. If there is one, I get back in. It's not something you gotta adhere to too much, but it's just a nice little way of conserving some HP earlier on, because she can get a decent amount of poke damage off using it. Okay. She has a passive stacked up a bit, so we ought to be a little careful here. Seriously? Kill this quickly so I could walk up and stop her from getting into the melee range of the minions. Okay. Stay alert. Knock down spot. Let's crash this baby in. Good. All right. Um, let's go for a recall here. Kind of like a cheatery type thing. Boots, dagger, and then we're back into the game. 
We'll try to see if we can force an all-in while she's pushing the slow push in. We should be able to kill her. But we gotta catch her first to start the process of the killing. So yeah. Nocturne got killed, so he should be resetting to come up here. So I'll, I'll leave a ward down here. He's a champion, he has to walk early to get to... Oh, he's bot. Good. We're safe. Katharina is also mid. So that is nice. Okay. Let's try to contest this wave here. We want it pushing it to us, but we don't want it, like, you know, balling up. Because we don't want the wave to be so big that we can't fight her inside of it. That can be a thing. Okay. Take that. It's for Ghost. Hmm. Gotta be quite careful to not get hit by that too much. The usual instinct is that you hide behind your minions to avoid- Oh, sorry, I know I missed the cannon, but the usual instinct is that you hide behind your minions to, like, not get hit by skill shots, but that one goes through minions. I think it gets larger when it goes through minions, but still. No flash required. What I basically did there was juggle her aggro between me and the minion. And basically trick her into walking into my hook range. She's not coming here, is she? Good. Nice. Okay, let's recall and get some more meat on our bones. Now, um... Let's just think what we need here. Triforce would be great to one-shot people, but I kind of want to go for Strikebreaker here for the move speed. I, I think I could do more with a move speed focused build this time because I'm against the Kale, right? I want to farm her as much as possible. Now, Triforce does do way more damage than Strikebreaker, but the thing is, with Triforce, if the Kale scales up, you get to a point where before you reach her, she kills you, right? But even, like, if things get badly, Strawbreaker at least has some use. And also, Strawbreaker helps you set up kills better, so you don't even need that extra damage. So, gonna go for Strawbreaker. It's gonna be extra useful since she has a Ghost Flash. Hmm. She has her range now, so that's gonna suck. She did use her Flash there, so what I'm gonna do is wait for this wave to crash in. Wait for her passive to fall off. And then just flash on her. Should be a pretty easy kill. Can we see us like a normal human being? I will not rest. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Okay. Destination is clear. She's not really getting in range for it, so I guess she's safe for now. I kill him too. Never mind. He has the power of plants. That's fine. We flush the Mocturne out. We kill the Kale. Blah, blah, blah. We do lose a ghost. That sucks. Now she has a ghost of energy. That's nice. Recall. Hmm. Katharina is getting quite fed, which is bad. Nocturne has a bunch of kills. Me killing him there would have alleviated the situation, but... We didn't get it, so uh, not good. Let's go for the Iron Spike Whip. OK. 
Okay. Now, boots is a bit of a subject I'm not thinking about in terms of what boots I'm going to get. Also, Talon's about to die here if he stays. I'm thinking... Hmm. I can't buy Tobbies, right? Because of their mixed damage. These three. Can't go Merc Treads because there's no CC for me to even stop. So we're in a really messed up position in terms of what we should be getting. Okay. Okay. She, she teleported on the other side of that. Alright. That did suck, but we killed the Nocturne and the Kale. The Kale kill doesn't really mean as much, but we went two for one. We did lose the Herald, which sucks, but considering how we're kind of just falling behind, it's as good as it gets, I guess. So, I will take those now. This is so greedy, but I kind of want the plates so I could get the Shredbreaker. Or just the plate. Perfect. All right, we get our strike breaker in our next recall, which gives us a lot more room to mess around. Now I will be going for a Moosey Focus build here. So, the devil on my shoulder is telling me to go for Swifties, Demand's Plate, and then Force of Nature, and then we can go for a Spear Shojin or Death Stance, something after that point. But the core of the build is going to be strike breaker and then Moosey Tango items. But Swifties is kind of on my shopping list at the moment. Gotta have as much music as possible. Now, um, personally, I wouldn't advise you guys to go for Swifties as often as I do in my games, but, like, Stay alert. like if you don't know precisely when to get Swifties, then just don't buy it ever. Okay. I'll take her ultimate. There's a bunch of minions, which sucks though. Honestly, she just left it alone. Now I'm low enough HP to the point where any roamer could just come up and kill me. Right, they're down there, so we're I guess fine to get for go for another plate. I'm kind of wink wink hinting something to the talent. <laughs> Wink at, wink, wink. Never now we're going to do a, a sneaky maneuver here. We're going to pretend to go back. Now that she's in our lap. Bro, bro, what are you doing? Are you insane? That was a miscommunication thing. Or an insanity thing, but whatever happens, I guess. Bowling's kind of getting uh, destroyed. Not good. I ought to get the DMP quickly so I can like, try to roam around and help the team out. Akai's gonna die. Hook, hook, hook. Well, at least that's one kill. Pretty good flash hook, honestly. <laughs> kind of pulled them to the side into the turret, but that's not good enough for both kills. <sighs> Let's go back top. Collector. Creeps. With overwhelming force. Nice. Kind of want to, like, not pick too bad of a fight here. 
don't know where the Nocturne is. That's for sure not warded. Ripper Rooney. All right, let's chill, actually. <sighs> Get some moose speed. We need the moose speed so desperately at this point. I'll get that. I'll get the no mantle, but I'm planning on going for DMP first. The no mantle is just that I have some magic resist at least to not get destroyed. Just the ulting on. By the way, as a tip against Nocturne, you should use your F keys, right? Because if you focus on one of your allies and then Nocturne is all of them, you should you sh you'll see like the the dark shadow path thing that leaves behind from that ability. So that's how you can basically tell who the Nocturne and ults on without even communication from your team. This is not going optimally, little teammates, but we will not surrender. I have a warrior spirit. I cannot falter, JK, but still. Hmm, <laughs> everything's worded out. I don't kill the Nocturne quickly, so I can't exactly walk up on him there. If it was low enough health for me to one-shot, then that's way more feasible, but as it stands, he kind of just survives and come long enough for the Kale to summon a spell in and stop me from killing them both. How'd Thresh die? Who knows? There should be crawling with them, though. There you go. Why not take the Krugs? Okay, let's grab this wave as well. And Katarina gets another kill. Not good. I have my orders. So you can choose the turret. Nocturne spot, so I should be able to. Perfect. I do, not do we catch the Katharina there? We get a good hook. Should be a kill. If I walk through here, they just gang up on me and put me down. Oh, let's recall. Go bot, ways Akali. Good, come back. Come back, bro. Get back in here, bro. Hmm. Then the DMP, then FON. I know there's the option of going Force of Nature there, but I kind of want to get both resistances more than I want Moose Speed during the fight. There should be a kill now. Um, never mind. Never mind. We killed Katarina and the um, Zaya there, which is pretty good. I'd say that fight went in our favor. 2v2, and we killed two of their, like, strongest champions.
few more cheese fights like that and we should be golden. Don't die. Please. Lisa's trying to hold the lane. Let's get blue ward. Better for this kind of situation. Bruh. He's about to die to wards. Good. Let's get some vision down there. Man, my auto attacks are not that good this match. What's happening? What's happening? Yep. Let's get down there. Never mind, we're there in time. Also, Nocturne has GA. Which makes things a bit hard. Hmm. Thought I'd be able to catch her. They have such good vision around their jungle and stuff. They're going for like vision based picks or. Practically impossible for us. That catches me too. Never you should have used E first and then the hook. That would have been more consistent. Nah, it's not worth it. Catherine's gonna be there. Not sure how well I do against her and all of you one. So we'll find out. If I can vision cheese her into just running into him, I should be able to do some work. Make no mistakes. Never mind. She's gonna run straight back. It's gonna waste enough time for the nocturne to get on me. Oh, Ocean Drake, are you kidding me? <sighs> Bro, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. One for one in like, like a situation like this, is ideal. Okay, one for zero. Good. Good. Let's get down there. How did Callista die? That sucked. Hmm. I think it's time to let go of the game. And they FF'd anyway. We tried our best, but when everyone's losing, there's only so much we can do. All right, let's see who's the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back some more gameplay. We're up against Gragas Top. Gragas Top is kind of a boring matchup. Gragas basically has all the tools he needs to, like, um, basically win every single trade possible so it's not a matchup that is too possible to easily snowball into easily snowball off of however if the gragas player is impatient there are some opportunities for kills they can pick up quickly we also have a zyra support i mean zyra jungle which i'm not too keen on seeing the performance of but with Nico, Nautilus, and Desire, we have a pretty nasty team fight composition. So that might work in our favor. We'll just have to see. Anyway, um, I'm going to grab us. Try not to get hit by too many barrels. Because those kind of hurt. Not really, but it's a skill shot that's like practically unmissable. And it does like... Enough damage to basically make a difference over time when he spams it. Every weakness. Okay. Mm. 
Oof. Didn't get that. I have my orders. I'd say he's starting to run out of mana, but <laughs> we all know that doesn't matter. <laughs> Thanks to those cookies. It's lazy, I know, but you have no choice. Good. Okay. We get the flash. Which is pretty good. We get Ghost or Flash, so we can use our flash to basically kill him and all in. Gonna take this slow. Try to get another trade in with my hook once it's up. Pretty standard kill. Impatient, whatever, took a bad trade, and we turned that into a kill. One bad thing was that that the thing that allowed me to basically kill him was the fact that he belly sand into the minion. The minions were kind of scattered around, which basically made his only escape futile. And then we basically just juggled turret aggro to not take too much damage. So that we don't die as we walk out of the kill. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna go for attacks so we can start a long here. The thing is, his belly slam is Instant CC. So I'd rather have that fast attack speed so that I'm more likely to get, to get my attacks off while he belly slams me. So that's where we're going for the dagger initially. Another good thing is that the ghost has less of a cooldown than flash. So if our ghost is up, we can just instantly go for another fight. So that is quite good. Also, the team is winning, which is a surprising, but a pleasant surprise. So yeah, let's ward up. I gotta thin this wave out. I don't want to have this push too hard into my turret. If it's stuck around here, then it's a better position for a kill. Because he can't leave. Okay. Lose a bunch of health out of that, but... I kind of want to keep the lane there. I will admit, I played that trade pretty badly. Okay. Jesus. This guy's not really paying attention to the minions when he does the belly slam. Okay, good. Perfect. Carve a path. <laughs> Ah, that sucks. Not good. Thank those. I kind of wanted to toss one into the middle of this one. This cloud of minions. Things I accidentally over trimmed the wave so it would start pushing, but with them barreling like that, it just start to be freezeable again. This guy's playing on high ping or something. Because that was a really bad barrel there. I was literally inside of it and he let me walk out. This guy's 100% on high ping or something. Not the most satisfying kind of victory, I guess. Like, a kill's a kill, but doesn't bring me joy that I beat a player once while he's not playing at his best. So, yeah. Oh well, let's go for our little Triforce here. Starks is also a decent option, but I'd rather just go for Triforce and have like a ton of damage. The Zed, like Starks is going to be practically useless against him. And, you know, I'd rather be able to just one shot the Trist in one go. Instead of having to try to like ground her down with my Starks. No Starks, Stridebreaker. I was talking about Stridebreaker versus Triforce right now. Go for Triforce, not Stridebreaker. I sometimes get my terms wrong, but... Um, I hope the message was clear. Hmm. 
Let's see if we can just kill him here. That's his flash gone. Are you serious? Man, if I land that guy, I at least kill him. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was such a, an unlucky situation. They got the whole squad up here. I'd kill him anyway there, if the Zack wasn't there to burst me down and put me into... Put me back into our base, let's say. So yeah, that sucked. Oh well, the lane is not completely lost, so it's not the biggest issue. I kind of messed up this head. Alright. Not, not the most fruitful fight for us. Gragas is down there, we gotta push. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Force him here. There we go. <clears throat> nice. Get a free plate. And we move on. <clears throat> Get the kill on Z, that's perfect. Put my flash up. Let's just go for it then. Stay alert. Hmm. If I go further, good chance he just ults me in the turret. And then face rushes away while I can't kill him. Obviously, I think that with my flash, I could probably put him down at the end there, but I kind of want to live after I kill him, so... It's not a good trade to go one for one with this Gregus. He's in a weaker position than I am. Right. Ah. I wanted to walk up to stop him from tossing the barrel for the cannon, but his barrel has a much lower cooldown than I anticipated. <clears throat> Make no mistakes. <clears throat> Seriously? Huh. Thought I'd be in range for the hook. Okay, a few more gold, like I think two more waves and we get the um, Triforce, so that's good. One thing that sucks is that we're running out of mana slowly, so it's going to be tough to stay in lane. Then again, we're not really getting pressured by anybody, so we're basically just chilling. <clears throat> okay. They can't kill me, so I don't know what they're trying. I appreciate the challenge, but... You know. If you're gonna fight, fight. Dude, what is happening? The bar's just sleeping here. I think... I'll, I'll try to, like... Be a bit more tricky like this. All right, good. My idea was, you know, I keep the bard up here and whoever's coming up here with the bard to stay around the lane. So we're going to have an easier time on the bot side of the map, but that was not necessary. We're going to finish the dragon. My destination is clear. 
he escaped my clutches. He's too slippery, too fatty. That is not good. How much gold is that? Thankfully, they had no bounties, so it could have been much worse, but it's still not good. Stay alert. Hmm. Boot choice. This is going to be interesting. Um, now, logic dictates that we go Merc Treads here. Bard Stun is like, going to be annoying. It doesn't do much against Zax, but, but I, I guess it kind of like reduces some of the slows. Doesn't do much against Gragas either, unless he goes over Frost. That sucks. There's not really much that Merkutras does. Hmm. I'll have to have a think then. I might go for like a low key trolley Swifties or something. Hmm. Let's make lemonade with Triforce. When life gives you lemons. Good. He wasn't in lane, so it was just two free plates. Can't get the whole turret, but I'm happy with the way we got. Let's crash this in. He literally can hold it. If he holds the barrel, he can just throw one barrel after another. Okay. Hmm. Theoretically, that's an amazing trade, but he's just gonna drink his barrel and then heal up. I have level 11 there, so... If I do something like that again, I can want to show them my ultimate. Oh my god. Never retreat. <laughs> um wonderful. Very fun lane. Um I guess there's no point to playing this normally anymore. Jesus. Oh my god, are you serious? <sighs> we got three man again. This lane is quite like getting on my nerves. The Gragas essentially just stays like miles back and constantly barrels the wave. And because it's on such a low cooldown, even if I try to freeze it, he can just like the reason he's not hitting me with the barrels is that he's busy here in the way that I'm pushing into him. So if I don't push away until I'm freezing, he's just gonna Spam me with the barrels and I won't be able to stay in lane anymore, so. Um, I'm just going to go the crazy route. Go Swifties and then kill as much people as I can. Not a lane I can snowball out of, but we'll try to, we'll try to do what we can. This should be a free turret. We got Triforce, so can take it out in like four or five world attacks. Good. Let's just keep pushing then. Zed recalled so we don't have to go back to base. Okay, what are they doing? Seems fine. I'm not gonna go for the turret, I'm just gonna go for these junk camps. Oh, they're pushing and I gotta go for the minions. Um, I'm not gonna fight the Zed, but oh, he's so low health. Nah, I don't want to be greedy. Let's move to the dragon. See if me and the bolt lane can stop the enemy. If you can hold someone down for me, I can get some work done. Never mind. Oof. Dude, they do so much damage, right? 
I'm kind of not focused too well on this game, if I'm being honest. I gotta just focus back up again. <sighs> right. How do we play this? They got a pretty good catch going. So, with Bard and Zac, and also the Gragas, I guess, they're pretty good at catching, like, immobile targets. So, not immobile, like, isolated targets, right? They can make kills out of basically nothing. So, to work well against this, we have to essentially be mobile around the map, but also be close to our team. Because if we're kind of together, <clears throat> we can use our big AI abilities to just kind of kill them all, right? Like, they can do Nico ult, Zyra ult, that keeps them CC'd enough, and then I can just go through the ults and kill everyone, my Noxium and stuff like that. Okay. Let's go Sterax. Bit of MR, DMP, and then try to run through the enemy team. Hmm. All of them hit me? Oh my god, yeah. I got completely outplayed there. Hmm. <sighs> when he dodged my hook with his ultimate, that was basically it for the fight. Because they didn't have his W spare to basically get away from my effective range. Hmm. This one isn't going too well. We had like a decent amount of beefiness in lane, but because we died like three times in a row essentially for nothing. We are pretty easy to kill for anyone with damage. Uh, yeah, I gotta deal with three of them, man. Come on. You never helped me. They ought to be careful up there, because it says it's gonna flank them and kill them. Then again, he doesn't have ult or iron spike. Not iron spike, though. Probably cool. So they should be able to put him down. Apparently, he has no ultimate cooldown. But that didn't matter because they bodied him anyway. Good. <clears throat> I'm not going to push this. It's just going to leave me dying. Going to complete all of this um, Krugs. Sell the pot, get Starx, and then we can go to the dragon, the, the Baron, to fight the enemy team off. I do not tolerate cowardice. Okay, let's get this, go with Starx, and then go top. Except the Baron. Go red. Okay, let's go. I got Flash, so I should be able to take down at least one of them. But my primary goal should be to essentially peel the Zack off of the Squishies. I'm gonna, you know, pick him up out of the air. Oh, that's a juicy kill. Never mind. Never mind. We got his ultimate though, so that's pretty good. He's gonna be pretty useless in the fight. Um, we kind of have to pick them up and go for a big fight because this kind of straggling thing works more so in their favor than ours. Let's just go for it. of us. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty easy. Nice. I was ulting him, but then I realized that it didn't reset again. Pretty good fight, though. We killed everyone. That was mostly just their ultimates doing the work. We kind of just use the situation to our advantage. Okay. 
Let's grab this bad boy. Good. Recall. Get the MR. Get the moon plate. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. The top turret is kind of sticking out if you look at all the turrets, so you usually want to first siege the one that's like the most out from the enemy turrets. It's like the easiest one because think of it like this. Um, each turret has territory around it that it protects. So if we draw the territory, right, this one like has no friendly territory around it. I hope that made sense, but you know, you get what I mean. I'm alone here, so this is asking for the Zack to jump on me and then Zack to triple sure can kill me. But yeah, this is like the weakest position that they have, which is the one we're gonna attack first. Or not, they just int us mid, so we can just push the inhib down. All right, let's get down here. I'm gonna use this for the extra speed. <laughs> That's a lot of move speed, actually. Oh. I ulted early because the, you know, the Zed had to die as soon as possible. His earliest death was my priority. I'll take those. We didn't kill Tristana though, she might be able to wipe us all out here. Oh no. Let's just end the game. Oh no! Okay. That was good. If the Astro accidentally walks into the fountain and died too, that would have been a bit dicey. But all good. All right. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. All right, everybody. It's me, Roku, back with some more gameplay. We're up against Fang Top. Not a great matchup. So this is going to be essentially 20 minutes of me trying to pull my hair out. Um, hope that's fun to watch. But we should get some good content as to how to play against these kinds of bad matchups. First things first, try to stay out of their auto range, right? If you're gonna take damage while trying to CS, you crucially don't wanna take any more than like one auto attack's worth. Because if you have D shield and a second wind, you can heal that back relatively quickly. But if you get a lot of damage, a lot of poke on you, then you won't be able to heal back up. Not relatively quickly, which puts you in a bad position. She ranked her Q and W, because we heard the W thing, or did she? Doesn't look like it, she's just lasting, so I don't see the silver of the moon things. I don't know what the ability's called. I just know that whenever it's on, Vayne says, silver of the moon, so, yeah. She's kind of playing it really carefully. All right, now she has Condemn up. I can't go for kills. Thing is, with the Vayne matchup, you can go for cheese kills, sometimes. But you really aren't going to consistently beat her post laning phase. Once Vayne finishes her first item, she kind of just beats you 1v1 no matter what. Even if you're like one, two items up on her. I know Colossal leads don't help, but she's hard coded to beat us. Now, Kha'Zix is going to do stuff bot lane. So our job will be to essentially just not die top. Right? Great work. We'll try to farm under turret without taking too much damage. Oh, the screen froze. That sucks. Now, the hard part when you're trying to farm under turret is the range minions, because they're in her auto attack range while she can stand outside of the turret range, so. You should try your best to get as many minions as possible, but it's okay to give up the range ones, so you don't take unnecessary damage. Rengar's mid, Yon dies, okay. Build-wise, I'm gonna go for a Strawbreaker, Demand's Plate, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Going for like a Moose Speed centric build, if that makes sense. If we get a bunch of kills, we can flex Shoujin at some point, but that's like a luxury build, you know? Okay, Rengar is now moving top side. Can't take that extra auto attack. 
Oh, nice. She didn't get it off properly. Hmm. The thing is, Rengar can't really jump to me when I'm in the middle of the lane like this. So if I get them on me, I can just ghost and run away. And the Vayne has to ghost on me to catch up. And I go ghost for ghost. We get Rengar up here. Save vision on him. Usually I want to avoid the junglers, but because I know what Rengar is specifically capable of, I should be able to, like, better avoid him here, right? That's why I'm doing this. Also, I can't actually go to a ward, because if I go down here, Rengar just jumps on me. He snares me, and I'm basically just dead at that point. I'll take that. That's both our sums gone. Now, because it's once, we should be able to kill our under turret. Okay, let's go, let's go. W, Q, yo, killer, thank you. Great work, buddy. I'm not gonna crash this, right? I think doing so would take way too long, and I don't wanna overstay here any longer than I have to, so it's quite risky. I'll ping that she's alive, so that the Kha'Zix doesn't get over overly greedy, okay? Let's get back to lane. We got our tabbies, we got a refill pot, or <laughs> we got our refill pot in case we uh, get poked too hard at some point. So yeah, Rengar got here. He's about to hit level six soon, so we should be wary of that. Rengar's level six gives him a much easier gank, so it's not like having to deal with a Nocturne ult, basically. If he's on your side of the map, be safe. Over down there. I usually like to put it deeper into the river, but you should crucially not do this against champions that can cross over walls because a champion can cross into the bush right here and then will be seen by that ward. But against champions that have to walk around, the river ward is pretty good. Hmm. Now, the thing is, I don't actually want to get pushed into my turret. Because she doesn't have to farm the minions anymore, she can dedicate all of her auto attacks to hitting me, right? That's why against a lot of these ranged top laners, if you can try to, like if they give you the opportunity to, throw a Q or two in there into the wave to have it push less. But that's only like a possibility if they allow it, right? It's not something that's gonna happen every single time. So yeah. Okay. Just gonna try to chill here. We're doing quite well, at all things considered, but we can't really give up, you know, put our guard down. That's how it is against the rain, rain matchup. The rain matchup, all right. I walked up there to threaten the cannon so she would get it. Because she doesn't have any of her sums, if I get a good pull, we don't have like the worst fight into her. But then again, she does have her ultimate, so. Perhaps it's wise to wait for Stryber to go for Orleans. Without Ghost, it's just a bit too easy. Even though she has Ghost, my Ghost is way more valuable because I have slows, right? Where she only has one peel ability, which is Condemn. I have my orders. Okay. Team is crushing it. Looks like this is going to be a short match. Not too instructional in terms of um, Darius moving on crushing the game, but I do feel like we got a lot of good basic lane fundamentals in, so I might keep this in if it's like 15 minutes or so. Okay. Ring our spot lane. You know, just got back mid. I don't know where Karma is, though. That could be a potential gank. Yeah, that could be a, a gank, actually. Never mind, she went back bot. Thing is, usually when supports lose bot this hard, they start roaming, right? It would be a great roam timer for her, actually, because if she got a gank on me, it's like a kill to the vein, which is like the only other person on the team that can carry the game against our team. Actually, not really. She can't carry. Our team is kind of good against dealing with the vein. We got a lot of easy CC. And good range. And Senna, as we all, like, 
if your champion relies on move speed, which Vayne does, Senna is their absolute nightmare. She kind of just slow things down so, like, incredibly hard. Okay, they're just crushing it. Yeesh. They're both going for the blue one. Okay. She recalled, so I'm going to recall here, buy some items. Okay. I will not rest. Starbreaker, DMP, but I think the game will be over by that point, so... Dominating. I feel like this chase is not even worth it. Like, by far. They could just spend their time farming, and that'll be worth more than getting that Zeri kill. Ah. I didn't expect the Yon to get here. I win the 1v1 there because she let me land the hook and I'm basically in prime position to destroy her, but <sighs> the Yon ult came out of nowhere. I could try to flash on her right there, but the thing is, she has her Q up, so if I flash, she just Q's back. So I decided to kind of trick her so I could get my Q in there too, and survive long enough to then do the killing blow, but didn't work out. Should be a free kill for Kha'Zix though. Nah, she's suiciding. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Is this pushing into me? It kind of is, actually. Hmm. They use their ghost, but she still has her flash. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, this will eventually push into me. I can try to hold the vein here to maybe get a kill with the Kha'Zix, but this is warded, so I'll ping that. Yeah, I ought, I ought to remember to ping wards way more frequently because, like, it's it lets you keep an eye on the wards. Like, it tells the entire team where exactly the ward is and when it's going to expire. So yeah, if you see your opponent warding, get over there and vision ping that. I say that to you guys, but also to myself, because <laughs> it's not a feature that I take advantage of a lot of the time. Okay, even if you're not going to get any help, it doesn't really matter. Better to keep the wave here and safely farm. Okay. Um, is she going Titanic Hydra? I should be going ravenous. That's like the, you know, the hip OP thing. Try to trick her, but it didn't work out. She has so much health. Yeesh. 2k. That is not going to be too easy to kill in fights. Okay. I kind of walk up here because my team is right there to help in case I run into trouble. Because Vayne went for like a tanky build, she doesn't actually kill me that quickly. So, if anything happens, I can just drag the fight long enough for the Kha'Zix to jump in and... Like, I mean the claw thing. I don't know. I don't really know what sound claws make. <laughs> hmm. We should have, I think, focused on the plates, but it is what it is. Help me. Oh my god. This Kaisa just sold their entire team.
Good. Let's recall. Get our Strybreaker. Um, I kind of want to... I think the enemy team has opened. I think they've opened. Open. Open. Yeah. They're trolling slash open. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for this little match. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not really an example of like an amazingly played Darius match. But it is an example of how to kind of play the vein lane, especially earlier on with a bunch of great tips. So I'll probably leave in the match until this point. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next match. Peace out.